All right, welcome back to the channel, and welcome if you're new here. Uh, so we got the Tesla Model 3 back for another tug of war video, and today we have a F-150, Ram 1500, and a Toyota Tacoma. Okay, the F-150 weighs 4,800 pounds, the Ram weighs 5,500 pounds, Tacoma weighs 4,400 pounds, and the Tesla being the lightest at 3,600 pounds. And we're going to keep them all in rear wheel drive for the tug of war. Toyota Jerry rig to the Tesla and we used a bigger drop this time to make the angles as level as possible. Also eliminated the ball and went straight to the shackle so we don't have anything breaking now that we're on dry asphalt. Tesla versus Tacoma Tesla one. This is a rear wheel drive Tesla and the Tacoma was in rear wheel drive. Tacoma weighs about 800 pounds more than the Tesla and it still pulled it. Pretty impressive. All right, so we have the Tesla Model 3 rigged up to the F-150. F-150 weighs about 4,800 pounds. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that one was smoky. <laughs> the F 150 beat the Tesla. What can I say? Traction control off that time because before it dragged it as well. Uh, so the F-150 weighs 4,800 pounds, the Ram 1500 weighs the 600 pounds, I believe, and uh, I don't really think there's any point in even trying the Ram, but <laughs> let's do it anyways. And we have this 10 inch drop adjusted all the way down to make it as fair as possible so we don't have one vehicle lifting up on the other. So I got a lot of flack from the last video I posted which was clearly a joke between this car and the Duramax sitting way over there. Um, but hey, all engagement is good engagement. I can't believe this. I think we need an all wheel drive Model 3 yeah. for the next tug of war. Duramax versus Tesla. Tesla loses. This video upset a lot of people. So if you want entertainment, go read these comments and hit that subscribe button, that red one there. Ram 1500 versus Tesla Model 3. Completely unfair, but we did it anyways. For experimental purposes and uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next because we're gonna still be putting this thing up to a lot of the tests out there that no one else really is and once again this is a rear-wheel drive Tesla and all the other vehicles were in rear-wheel drive for the test well, see you next time